Hello friends. Welcome to our channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. And if you do not want to miss any informative video in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on the channel. In this video, I will give the answers of top 7 most common instrumentation interview questions. So, first most common question asked by interviewer is that, what is a transmitter? So, in this question, you need to give short definition of transmitter. For example, a transmitter is an electronic device which is generally mounted in the field, and it is close proximity to a sensor. The basic function of the transmitter is to provide the correct electrical power to turn on the sensor, and then to read the low-level sensor signal, and amplify it to a higher-level electrical signal, and send that signal a long distance to a controller, or readout device. And if interviewer asked follow-up questions such as, what is a sensor? Then your answer should be. The sensor is also known as transducer, which measures a physical variable such as temperature, pressure, level, and flow. The second most frequently asked instrumentation interview question is that, what is smart transmitter? A smart transmitter is known as microprocessor-based transmitter. In other words, it is the core of electronic in a device. The most common function of smart transmitter is to communicate, and it is also used for the calibration process in remote areas. A smart transmitter sends a unified standard signal such as 4 to 20 mA DC, 1 to 5 V DC, or 0 to 10 V DC. And the output control signal is standard in the form of 4 to 20 mA. The third most frequently asked interview question is that, what is the process control? A process control is continuous changing of a process variable to desire variable according to the measured feedback variable from the process. In other words, process control is closed loop control system. The fourth most important interview question is that, what are the process variables and what are their units of measurement? If you are interviewing for any instrumentation position, this question will definitely be asked by interviewer. First of all, what are the process variables? Flow, pressure, level and temperature are known as process variables. And flow is usually measured in liter per minute, gallon per minute, kg per hour etc. While pressure is the force acting per unit area. And it is usually measured in bar, pascals, kg, pounds etc. In addition to this, level is the difference between two heights and its units are meters, millimeter, and centimeter etc. Lastly, temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body, and its units are degree centigrade, degree Fahrenheit, degree Kelvin, and degree Rankine. The fifth most frequently asked interview question is that, what is the difference between two-wire, three-wire and four-wire transmitter? This is the most common instrumentation interview question. Let's start with two-wire transmitter. In a two-wire transmitter, there is one common cable for power and signal. While in a three-wire transmitter, data signal and power are with respect to common ground. And, in a four-wire transmitter, two separate wire for power and two separate wire for signals. The sixth most frequently asked interview question is that, why 4 to 20 mA signal preferred over 0 to 20 mA signal? This is also one of the most important instrumentation interview question. First of all, let's understand, what is 4 to 20 mA signal? In 4 to 20 mA signal, 4 represent the minimal value, and 20 represents the maximum value. With 0 to 20 mA, we cannot distinguish between minimum field value and connection break. Both situations, output will be 0 mA. However, in 4 to 20 mA, normally when the value is minimum, transmitter will give you 4 mA. While in connection breakage, it will give 0 mA. 
In other words, we can easily distinguish minimum signal and connection break. So, this is a reason that, 4 to 20 mA signal preferred over 0 to 20 mA signal. Last but not least, seventh most important instrumentation interview question is that, what are the primary elements used for flow measurement? Primary elements such as orifice plate, venturi tube, pitot tube, annu bars, flow nozzle, weir and flumes are used to measure flow. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. Please give your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you think our content is informative for you, then please like and share this video with your friends.